So today, um, we are going to be showing you guys how to do um, rainbow loom bracelets and hot loom bracelets. For rainbow loom, we are going to be showing you a basic rainbow loom bracelet and also fish here. And if you know me, you've probably seen me wearing these hot loom bracelets. They're really comfy and they can turn out really, really nice. So let's get started. So the supplies that you would need would be, um, this you don't really need for the basic one, but you would need one of these things that hook up for the um, uh, loops. And if you want, you can get these little charms, they look really nice on the basic rainbow loops. And also you would need um, some clips, only one, I got a packet. And you could do as many colors of rainbow looms as you want, but it's mostly easier to start with two. So I'm going to be doing a uh, turquoise clear blue and also a green. There's no exact amount of um, loops that you need. You just, for like a regular size one, just go all the way down. Okay, so. Okay, so what you do for your first rubber band is you always want to start it with the arrow right there. So go like that and you want to make sure that when you first put it on as you can see it's down low and then the other side is up high right and then you would want to take the second color which mine is turquoise blue and oops, sorry, and put that on top of this one so that one's on the top and push it down so it's on the bottom and so you're going to want to do that again top bottom bottom and you want to do that until it's all the way across to right there. Okay, so now that you have all the crisscrosses like this, now you're going to want to take the side that you have been starting on, which is with the arrow, and flip it over so the arrow is facing this way but it's turning, you know, that way. And so, what you would want to do is take the bottom one and get it off the thing and move it on to the match. Because, so I just got clear, like, teal blue, and I matched it over the other teal blue. That's what you would want to do. And you always get the bottom one. Bottom one, loop it over and put it with the next one, which is green. And do it again. At first, it'll seem like really hard, but trust me, you'll get the hang, hang of it. But it will mess up your whole bracelet if you do the wrong loop. So you always have to get the bottom one. Why I start with two colors is because then it's easier to see which one you should loop. So always do like the opposite. Um, and do that till the end with the arrow like we did last time. Okay, so now that you did all the looping, you're going to want to take your clips and put the bracelet together. So, first you are going to want to take the side that has two instead of the one that is one and make sure that it's on your finger pretty good like this you see and then just simply go side 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 and then when you get close to the end take it with this and do side side one more time and get it like this now you're gonna take two fingers and put it in the one set of two rubber bands and take one side of the clip and just clip it on. The clips are pretty easy to do, okay? Well, so now you, it looks like a bracelet, right? But what I like to do is so it looks more like, I don't want to say better, is but take off this strand right here and put your fingers in here like this. <laughs> Just so it looks a little like, and it's it's just not as loose, because that one really stretches a lot. So now, you, 
I'm going to do loop this like that. And there you go. You have your own teal blue and green bracelet. You can do any colors you want. Hope you guys liked the basic rainbow loom bracelet. Okay, so for your next rainbow loom bracelet, it is going to be called a fish tail bracelet. And you are not going to be needing this. You will be needing what you use for the basic bracelet and also this. When you get the set, it usually comes in like this. So that works out well. And then you would also need some rubber bands. We are doing two today and also your clip. Okay, so you want to get this part of the clip and then you get uh, your both rubber bands. It could be any type or any color. Um, you cross it over like this as an X. And then you want to get the other color and just put it on normally. Don't put it as the first one. And you get another color and put it on like the second one. Then you want to get the bottom one and flip it to the top. Same thing to the other side. And then you want to get the clip and you gonna look, loop it out and hold it. And you want to get just two, but from the same side. And then you continue that process. Okay, so you wanna go for the last loop, you wanna grab the bottom from one side and then the same thing to the other side. And then you wanna get the second to bottom too. You do it to both of the sides and then you pull it like this and you grab one side, put your finger in there. You grab the other side and you also put your finger in there the same finger and then you put the clip on together and that is how you make the fishtail bracelet okay so for the hot loops bracelet when you like get the hot loops thing it's going to come in this container and everything that in the container is only going to be rubber bands which is good because that's all you need so uh, you could do as many colors as you want when you make this, but um, I always start off with two. So what you do is you take your first color, which is pink for me, and you take it and you twist it, bring it over again, twist it, cross it again. And you do that with your next color. Twist, twist, twist. Good. Okay, so you see this, sit, this side? Now I'm going to take this side and make sure that it's facing me. So I'm going to take it and flip the bottom one over the top. Just take it over and bring it over the finger and let go. Take it over, bring it over the finger and let go. Take it over the finger and let go. And then you bring it down again. And you do it again. You always want to go for like 
white, pink, white, pink. It's always the one on the bottom that's. So twist, twist, twist. Bring over, oh, bring over, bring over, bring over, bring over. I'll do it one more time and then we're gonna go into time lapse. So, yeah. we'll, so you'll just do this over and over again until it gets as long as you want it, like practically as big as you risk. Bring over, bring over, bring over, bring over. So you will do that until it's long. If something doesn't look right and the rubber bands start getting like extremely loose, that means that one of these, um, either you didn't twist it right or it just came on, the bottom one came undone. Okay, so now that you have like the bracelet, you want to make sure that it fits your wrist by usually going lightly like that and then remembering that you have that space for that. And so I like the size of this and I'm going to tie it. So what you want to do is you're going to see your four fingers, you probably want to end it like this and take your pinky and bring it over to this one. So there's two there. And then you want to do it with your pointer finger and do it like that one. And then once you do that, you'll put your finger around it, take it off, and do the same for the other one. This part gets kind of tricky because you know, you need to be balanced and everything. But once you have it like that, that's good. And then you're gonna wanna do that to the other side, which they have one, see? And then you're gonna want to combine these like you did. Just, you know, take your two fingers and move it all on to one finger. See? And then, from there, you're going to want to, so you're going to take the one with the, um, the first color on and get it over. The bigger one, usually, it's like looser. And so you got two fingers in that one. And this one is kind of like clings onto that. You're gonna wanna twist your finger and bring it in one more time. And see, your fingers will get stuck, but that is fine. And then you just wanna like tighten it. And then, there you go. Sometimes it'll come undone, but watch this video and you will know. So just, you know, take the two rubber bands, loop them inside each other, twist them, loop them inside each other. Um, see, not. There you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was made by Juliana and Michelle.